What's going on guys? I'm headed back up to the property today. I've been up about every day this week. Can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of it. Um, today I'm gonna go up, just hang out, sit around, and I might do a little bit of squirrel hunting. I mean, I do that usually about every time I'm up there anyways. And so, I mean, that's why I've had so much squirrel hunting in my videos here lately. And the deer hunting, we only do that, you know, this is like the second year we've ever deer hunted anyways. But we always scroll hunting though, and we don't always get lucky, but sometimes we do. And today we have a special guest, a special, special guest. Booyah! Hello. This little lady right here, <laughs> Chloe Sharp, my daughter, my 10 year old. We're gonna let her come up here and shoot with a little cricket, a little 22, and hopefully, wait, it's 22. Try to get us some squirrels. No, we're not using the big one. You ready to do some squirrel hunting, kid? Yep. Right. First, we're gonna stop right here at the little gas station down from the property. Yes. The only store around here. Oh, we're gonna get us a few little snacks what? and something to drink so we can hang out at the cabin for a little bit. I remember when you told us that I went into that little house that looked like a you store. You did, yeah. <laughs> it's got all the Coca-Cola yeah, signs. There's a I like to buy that little old house right there. That little farmhouse. No. Looks a little run down though. No, Bro, you're driving. Nice farm there. Oh, there's four deer. I've never seen them. Did they just put this gate up? I'm guessing. I've never noticed it. So we're headed into the jungle. No, we're not. I always feel like a lion's gonna jump out of here. <laughs> Ain't it up the uh, scary movie where their car gets trapped and then they're trapped? It looks like Jeepers, Creep Jeepers Creepers is gonna come out of there, guys. No. This guy here. It is soaking wet. Watch out for But we're gonna go set this little blind up hangout in the woods for about 30 minutes or so. Daddy. And we don't have no luck, we'll just come back down and hang out at the cabin a little bit. You can tell it's been raining hard up here because this creek usually ain't flowing. But it's flowing today. level is up a lot. That's like to the porch, to the water, to the porch, to the water. And we usually stand on that rock. Yeah. Pretty cool.
What are you doing up here, kiddo? Nothing. Just hanging out? Yep. It is so muggy and cloudy today. It's gotten darker. Ponds slightly flooded. Well, it's raining. Yep, it is definitely raining. Not very hard, but heavy enough that you don't want to go up and sit in the woods. And, you know, nothing's going to be out this rain. So we'll just hang out at the cabin, have a good old time, and that'll be it. It's picking up a little bit now. Chilly out here. It is. Just a little bit. Little bit. Tell me it ain't cool looking out there at the water though. Because don't you have you have like a shirt, like sleeve shirt on and I just mm -hmm. have a little shirt and leggings and stuff. It just means the pond's gonna fill up more and more. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be a white Christmas, not a rainy Christmas. <laughs> a merry Christmas. Oh dang. Whoa, it's cool from up here. I don't get up here very often. Heck yeah. We've got it. It's about 60 degrees outside. It's maybe a little bit. A little bit below 60, but we've got a 70 something in here though. She said she was cold. But we got that little, we've got that little buddy heater, which heats this thing up. This is a 10 by 20, and that little buddy heater that runs off propane heats this building up like amazingly. This little cabin. Um, we've got this carbon monoxide, uh, carbon monoxide detector, and um, I've got it up here. I've got a fire extinguisher, the smoke alarm, and then the whole building's insulated, but you might not be able to see. Right there, though, is the gable vent on the side. And I just I kind of pulled the insulation away from that just to um, just to kind of let a little bit of just to let a little oxygen in here. You know, at nighttime you can kind of see a little bit of light shining through. And, uh, but I just kind of keep a little flow of air through here. I usually crack a little window at nighttime when we're camping yeah. down low. And then I just leave that open just to keep a little flow of yeah, oxygen through here to keep it safe. Just, just okay, in case. So I'm going to show you what I do when we come inside because it's raining. So, first, I'm just going to unbottle it. We have this little one. What is it called, Dad? That is a wooden chest. A chest, wooden chest box thing. And we just put a bunch of toys in it and stuff like that. Um, I'm really good at wood searches, so we we'll get that out. Can we play chess? Or domino? Checkers. Checkers? I don't think we got all the checkers pieces. I don't think we do either. I think your brother and sister lost them all. Yeah. Told you Domino's, you need to play that. Do you? Nope. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you usually okay, sleep at when you're up here, Chloe? Here or up there? You sleep you like sleeping on the loft? I like it up there it's better, yeah. It's warmer up there, ain't it? 
see the TV better. Mm-hmm. I agree with you on that. Or over there. I think mostly up there. All right, guys. I think my little uh, Coleman gas top is officially bit the dust. Uh, it's leaking. Even when it's off, it's leaking. So if I start it and it's burning, it just keeps flowing and flowing and flowing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And, bigger and, bigger and uh, yeah, about like I didn't about burn the place down, but it, it was a little sketchy. You can see where it's like all black. So I'm gonna retire this thing. I'm gonna buy a, buy a new one this spring. And she's hungry, and we, you know, we got some uh, canned food and stuff up here. So I'm going to fire up the little generator. I've got a hot plate, and I'm gonna cook us up a little uh, can of uh, some beefaroni or raviolis or something simple like that. So, all right, guys, we got this little bitty Harbor Freight, 700 watts, 700 running watts, uh, little small generator. Costs like eighty dollars, and we use it to run the air conditioner. It works great. So we're gonna use it to run the little hot plate here. <laughs> Did you guys notice that that little generator is sitting directly on the porch? You can feel a little, just barely vibration, yeah, but a little. you can have, I mean, it is, that's a quiet little, it's not a Honda generator, obviously, but it's, it is quiet, and it's really not that loud outside either. I don't know if how it sounds on the camera, but from in here, it's, ex it's yeah. extremely quiet. All right, let's give this a try. I believe it's warmed up pretty good now. Now, you can hear the generator kicked on a little louder once this thing was on. But if it runs it, we should be heated up here in a second. Get the pot off the wall here. And put us up some beefaroni. Eat and hang out for a little bit. Oh yeah. Alright guys. We are ready to go. Get this hot. Turn it down just a little bit here. Turn on about medium high, let it warm up, and we'll be cooking. Girl, I know how to cook. Yeah. Thunder garbage can for me, please. Thank you, ma'am. Turn it down just a hair. And we'll be nice and warmed up here in a minute. Is it okay? I was gonna say, because the cheap ones are not that good. That cheap. I didn't see you do this. Here you go. I'm gonna go for this one. This one. Oh, I gotta do this. 30 plus 8. 11? Or 12? 8. 11, oh, yeah. I was about to say. I just did that one. You're dumb. You get a card. <laughs> I just one plus did zero that. equals one. I just did that. <laughs> that is messed up. I, I did it first, though. Caramel apples. That one might be right, actually. Boom! Oh! Okay, I'm going to go for these two. Um, nope. Yeah! <laughs> Loser. 
And the thing about this is, is the water actually stays rather warm, being it's at the top of the ceiling, basically. And the heat rises in here, and the, the highest point of the, the cabin stays the warmest, which keeps your water at a little bit better temperature. That's why I like to sleep up there better. Chloe's pretty excited about walking back down to the car in the rain. I'm not excited. All the way down there. I was just being sarcastic. Her little boots, they're not that great. They're gonna her feet's gonna they're be wet by the time bullshit. we get in. The... <laughs> 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 Chloe's I'm glad I hit Here's a helping <laughs> hand. <laughs> I'm glad I hit off his hand. That's great. But we're headed home though. It's it's raining, you know. We we sat up here for an hour or two and made us some food and played a couple little forever. games, so we're headed back home. You ready I, have, I have glasses so they get wet easy you know? I probably got ravioli. They're gonna on fog this. up. Hmm? Watching off grid cabin hatchers go. Mickey, subscribe and thumbs up. Let's go.